<laughs> hey guys, today's video is going to be a fun one and it's going to be a mommy favorites video. I think I've done one other favorites video in the past but I will do it for you guys because I, I love favorites videos. I love watching these videos. I want to know what people are loving so I can love it too, you know? So let's just jump right in because we don't have time for Dilly and we don't have time for Dally. So let's do this. Let's start with like makeup, skincare, hair care type things. So my first favorite is this eyeshadow. This is what it looks like. It is the Butter London Glazing Eye Gloss in Oil Slick. And I've mentioned it, a, I think a couple times on my channel, but it is a jelly eyeshadow. Look at that, isn't that weird? I'll swatch it for you guys. It's like wet and it dries down like Kind of powdery. I'm not wearing it today, but I wear it most days when I wear makeup. But do you see, like, you've got purple, blue, brown, pink. Great. Anyway. So these different shifts to it, which makes it really easy to do an eyeshadow look with because you can blend it out with brown, you can blend it out with pink, purple, any of those, and it looks fabulous. And it's so easy, it's so easy to work with. Um, and it stays all darn day. And it just, it makes your eye look very impressive looking, even though you may not have tried very hard to do it, you know? So love that. You should definitely check that out. But I will say I had such a hard time trying to find that eyeshadow. And I found it at some random Ulta, like far, far away from my house. Um, but they were sold out online and in most stores. But if you can get your hands on it, it is fabulous. My next favorite is from Target and it is this Bliss Moisturizer. And me and David were really on the hunt for a good moisturizer because we're both very much into skincare. We wanna take care of our skin and we've tried natural ones, not natural ones. We, we've kind of tried everything to be honest. And we tried a different one from the same brand. It was like their watermelon jelly moisturizer and it just left our skin still having that tight feeling you know and I hate that feeling I cannot get moisturizer on fast enough and so we grabbed this one because I read the back and it said super moisture and just everything about the moisture and so it is true it's called the explosion <laughs> like explosion but glow very funny uh, super rich moisturizer for dewy radiant skin and it does just that it is so luxurious feeling and I tried it first and I was like honey we found it we found the moisturizer and he was using our old one because we hadn't used it up yet and he finally used this one and he's like wow this feels so expensive it feels so nice on my skin this is the one and so we have found the one and it's $20 at Target, kind of up there, but you know, for the one, worth it. It's bomb.com. So if you're in need of a very rich moisturizer that's not too like oily, then this is your jam, okay? So some hair care stuff that I have been loving that is actually from a YouTuber, it's Cute Girls Hairstyles. They were one of the first people that I discovered on YouTube and so I started watching them. And so they came out with this hair care line that is actually at Walmart. I don't know if you can tell that I love their products, but I have several of them. So this one is their Light as a Feather Leave-In Conditioner. And this name just reminded me of what to say about all this. Everything is so light, so airy, so professional feeling. It feels expensive. The packaging is gorgeous. So you can, you know, leave it out in your bathroom and you don't have to be all weird about it and all of this stuff, I don't know if you can see, it's like this free, that free, it doesn't have bad crap in it, you know? This is a leave-in conditioner. I use this after I get out of the shower, I spray it all. And all of these have really mild scents. They're not like super perfumey. Um, the, the scents are strong, but they're not, they're, they're very mild scents, if that makes any sense. How many times did I just say scents? I don't know. Spray this on after I get out of the shower on my wet hair and I kind of leave it on for a bit. 
And then on my ends, because I have obviously bleached hair and I want to keep it shiny and smooth, um, this is the Take Your Vitamins Argon Oil. And this is not like super greasy and yucky. I put it on my ends. I showered yesterday, used this leave-in conditioner and put that oil on my ends. And I feel like my hair looks so healthy and gorgeous. On my second day hair, I use this dry shampoo. So I used it today. Even though I washed my hair yesterday, I still will use dry shampoo the next day because I want, you know, that volume. I don't want my hair to seem really flat. And this is so light and it did not leave a white cast whatsoever. I mean, I don't mind a white cast because obviously my hair is blonde. I do feel like it, you know, gave me some volume and looks nice and it's very light and clear. And then this is by far probably my favorite product of all the products. And this is their hairspray. It smells, feels exactly like the hairspray that um, me and David's hair guy uses on our hair. It's just super duper light and it's almost like L'Oreal Elnat, except even lighter. And it's very flexible. As you can see, my hair is not crunchy. It's very soft, um, but it holds hair. And I love using this on Simeon because his hair can get all wild when he uh, wakes up from his nap or wakes up in the morning. And so I'll just get his little soft brush, brush his hair, put a little bit of this, brush it some more. And it doesn't look all crunchy and yucky like it normally does with some of the other hairsprays that I have used. And it's free of all the yucky stuff. And so I feel safe using it on him and it makes his hair look all cute. So I absolutely love this hairspray. And if you take anything out of, you know, this collection of stuff from uh, Heritage that I have bought, get the hairspray. My next favorite is this deodorant and it is a natural deodorant and you may be thinking mckenna natural deodorants don't work for me okay i sweat a lot i'm very stinky so just don't even talk about it and i hear you i understand i was that person in high school and middle school i used um the clinical strength deodorant that is how much i sweat and how little stinky i can get okay uh, because i'm the type of person and it runs in my family where if I laugh, I sweat. If I blink, I sweat. If I think about sweating, I sweat. And so <laughs> I've always really, really struggled with trying to find a deodorant that works and the clinical strength does work. But then as I did more research and, you know, as I got older and really learned how to take care of my body and, you know, make it last because I would like to live to be a great grandma someday, um, I found out how absolutely awful aluminum deodorants are for you and that's literally putting metal into your armpit pores to stop yourself from sweating and it's like right next to your you know tata -ta area and that's just like a recipe for disaster you know and so i've been on this entire journey of aluminum free and natural deodorants and i've tried all of them i tried the schmitz one uh pregnancy one for moms i also tried the love beauty and planet one and that one worked for a while and then it stopped working and that's kind of an issue with natural deodorants is you'll find one and you're like yes i finally found a natural deodorant that works for me and it smells good and blah 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 and then as you continue using it it doesn't work anymore and so i've been using this for probably six months now and it has worked it is the native deodorant and they have this at Target and I believe they have it in other places too. Um, but my favorite scent is the lilac and white tea and they have more natural smelling scents, you know, like the natural deodorant scents. I think they have like lavender and eucalyptus and mint and that kind of thing. Um, but then they also have some really good scents. So this one is my favorite because I like my deodorant to be very fragrant because I sweat and I can get a little bit stinky and I just, I like everything to be scented. My hairspray, my dry shampoo, everything to be scented so that I am just one big ball of scent. Like when I walk in a room, I want people to know that McKenna's here, you know? So this <laughs> kind of helps with that. It is very fragrant. It smells really, really good. It prevents me from sweating and it prevents me from being stinky. 
this lasts me all day long. But I even got David onto this deodorant. So he uses the sensitive one and I don't even remember what the smell is, but he's tried a bunch of natural deodorants because he's been on that journey too. Uh, because he doesn't want to get cancer either because that would be a big bummer and he finally tried it and he's like why didn't you tell me to try this before and i'm like i did <laughs> get you some they have tons of scent it's just worth a try you know so i have found my favorite wine of all time okay and this is a very serious business but of course because it's me this wine is limited edition and so you're not going to be able to get it all year round but i have it stocked up just in case it never comes back, but it is the Apothic Cab. Oh, this wine is beautiful. I like uh, the Apothic Smooth Blend, like it's the winemaker's blend or whatever. Um, that is my favorite one. Their dark one's not bad either. I like Apothic as a brand. They just have good starter wines for people who don't like wine, okay? But this one is by far my favorite. It's a red, it's a cab. I don't really know what that means, what the difference is, but all I know is that this is super smooth. So I got like five of those, 13.5%. Um, but yeah, me and David love this one. It is so good with fancy dinners or just a, you know, relaxing night with your glass of wine. If you take baths, this would be great for that. I don't take baths. I think they're absolutely foul. I highly recommend this wine. I have five of them. They're beautiful. So I mentioned these scrunchies in my last video and I just whirled by them really fast. I said they were $15 in my last video. They are actually $10 now, but it just is a bag of scrunchies and it comes with a bunch of different ones. So, you know, I love, these ones are my favorite to do like a high ponytail and have those little danglies, so cute. Um, but it comes with a bunch of different ones. I mostly wanted the leopard print and the polka dots. This snake one isn't really my jam, but you know, to each their own. And it comes with like three or four just of your regular scrunchies, but uh, what a good deal and so cute. I mostly want the dangly ones and that sounds a little dirty, but anyway, well, let's get into a couple of Simeon favorites. And I don't think these are really his favorites, but they're my favorites for him. Walmart has been my jam, okay? The Heritage Mindy stuff is at Walmart. This stuff is from Walmart. They're like stepping up their game and I just love it. Anyways, they have these little jeans and I bought them for Simeon in several different colors. Um, I have a dark wash, a medium wash, and this acid wash. How adorable are these? Like, I can't even with them. And what I love, and they have other ones without the band, but I love that they have the band. Simeon's got that big old cute baby belly and some of his pants won't fit because he of his belly and so the band I absolutely love and they're just so cute and they're a little acid wash and they kind of taper at the ends and so they're little skinny jeans and they're so cute and it's Walmart. I believe these were like seven or eight bucks and they're so cute and they're really good quality too. I get a lot of questions about these shoes if I ever take a picture of Simeon in them on my Instagram, but they're these little boots, cute, and my favorite, most favorite thing about these and why I had to get them in another color is because they Velcro right here. And so the whole front of the shoe just comes off and then you can like really stick their foot in there, you know? And we all know as moms how difficult it is to put shoes on children. I love these so much and they're so easy to put on. And he can walk and run really well in these because they go around his ankle. Love them so much I got them in another color. So they also come in gray. And Walmart has tons of shoes with this whole Velcro design. And it's such a genius idea. Whoever came up with that, applause to you. Wow. Highly recommend those. And then I wanted to talk about a couple food items, which I do not have with me because I am upstairs in my bedroom and some of these are freezer items. <laughs> I feel like this couldn't be like a favorites video during quarantine without talking about all of my favorite snacks. There's this brand at Fred Meyer and it's called Evil. It's like love, but backwards. I just love them as an entire brand. Everything that I've tried from them has been stellar. 
So they have like microwavable meals, they have breakfast burritos, they have everything. But in particular, which I will insert a little clip this here. This is the one that David really likes, the portobello and goat cheese ravioli. So this is just a bean and rice burrito, but they have breakfast burritos, they have just regular burritos. And this was the Chipotle mac and cheese that I've been talking about, and this is my absolute favorite. And we love these. I know I get really excited about food. I need to calm down. Have a Chipotle mac and cheese. It is so good. And I don't know how they make microwavable meals so flavorful and so good, but they really are. They have these tiny little circle noodles, good quality chicken in there, legit spicy. It's delicious. And then it has like crumpled up um, like tortilla chips on top. And you would think that microwaving that would be disgusting, but no. They are so good because it's quarantine and I've been lazy and we've kind of just been sitting around. I've been eating this quite often. And then for breakfast, I've been eating their breakfast burritos, which are super, super flavorful and super good. <laughs> and I, me and David just every time have been so surprised at how flavorful they're able to make their food when it's like microwavable, you know? Another thing I've been loving is those little tiny mini drumsticks. Um, I've been really, really loving those. They're just, they're little and they're just the perfect size to just, you know, pop in your mouth as dessert and you don't feel like you just had a ginormous ice cream cone, you know? It can kind of make you feel like you're getting on the healthy train because you had a little one instead of a big one. Even though I'm pretty sure they're probably just as bad, but shh, don't be negative, okay? I will insert some pictures of some meals here. I must admit my wrongdoings because I like to be honest with you guys. I was an Instapot hater, uh, non-believer person. <laughs> and I feel so bad about it. So all of the Instapot lovers, I want to say I deeply apologize because this appliance is like the sixth best decision that I have ever made in my life. And yes, I have a list. But we finally got an Instapot. My sister got one and started ranting and raving about it. And I'm like, mm, mm, whatever, like, it's not that cool. Instapots are just for people who are lazy and don't know how to cook. And yes, I was very judgmental. And again, I deeply apologize. Um, but she started making yogurt in it. She started making all these meals and I'm like, okay, freaking fine. So when me and Dave were at the store, it was on sale for 80 bucks. And so we got one. I kind of wanted to disprove it. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna put all the stuff in there. It's gonna turn out soggy and disgusting. And so the first meal that I made with it was chicken and dumplings. It took two minutes, two minutes. Like when I was a child and we wanted chicken and dumplings for dinner, it was like we had to beg my stepmom to make it. It was kind of an all night type of deal because she had to bake the chicken, which took forever and you know, do all the stuff. And it was just like a huge ordeal. And it was one of the best meals and we all loved it but it took forever. So you do have to let the Instapot warm up. So when it says two minute cook time, it is a bit longer than that because it has to warm up. And then depending on what the instructions are with the all the steam that it built up, sometimes the instructions will tell you to um, leave the Instapot alone after the timer goes off for like five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever. So the cook time is longer than the two minutes but I still think it's impressive. I'll try and link below some of my favorite recipes, but I'm definitely not a hater anymore. I absolutely love it and I think everyone should get it. I think it'd be perfect for like college students. You know what this would be perfect for? This would be perfect for men. Like single men who are in their little bachelor pad and they still want home cooked meals, but they're too lazy. So put down that DiGiorno's pizza and get yourself an Instapot, okay? And you can have home cooked meals like your mama makes you in like no time. <sighs> and I will attempt again to link everything down below so you can find all of these things. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please, please, please consider subscribing to my channel because this is a huge passion of mine and it's something that I've really wanted to do. And it's kind of a business that I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to like do something that I'm passionate about while also 
like hustling a little bit, you know, for my family. And so if you enjoy my videos, like, subscribe, so you can make sure that you watch them all. There's more where that came from. I hope that you guys are happy and healthy. Leave any prayer requests that you guys have down below. And I promise, promise, promise that I will be praying for you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, the lighting is so good. I love this shirt. Looking so good. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Yeah.